Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm here with Riggins and Henry, the Golden Retriever, and I was just about to start a lesson with Henry, and I thought I would make a video explaining the process of putting on the e-collar with a dog like Henry, who has a lion's mane. Um, it is so much more in-depth than just putting a collar on and strapping it shut. Contact is a huge issue with him because of his long fur, and the number one rule in dog training is make sure your equipment is right before you start. Make sure there's good contact with the skin, make sure the tightness is appropriate, and then you start. We don't just throw this on and start hitting buttons and get up to 95 and wonder why he's not feeling it and he's running around like a crazy person and you have no control. Riggins, my personal dog, you can see contact isn't an issue with him because he's got hardly any hair, right? So I can just throw the e-collar on and tighten it and then it's over. There's no um, inches and inches of lion's mane on there. With Henry, you can already see all the fur. First thing we did, immediately upon opening the collar from the box, swapped out the contact points for wings. Okay, as you can see, they're like barrettes and they, they thread through the fur. So that's already giving us a step in the right direction. And then step two is making sure we put it on appropriately and correctly before we start any sort of training. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the process. We always wanna have a leash on him. Okay, I don't want, especially in the beginning, I don't wanna approach Henry with a collar and have him running the other way. And since the collar is not on, I have no way to hold him accountable for getting him back to me. All right, so I like to put the dogs on place with a leash on. He's got a basic slip lead on. So if he tries any crazy shenanigans, I can just hold the leash, all right? So we like the collar, it's a muscle stimulator at four o'clock or eight o'clock, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the location that I want the collar, see all this fur? And I'm going to split the fur until I can see the skin. See that pink line? That's the skin right there, okay? While I'm holding the fur open, I'm going to take my collar and put it in that spot. And then with one hand, I'm gonna hold the collar there. With the other, I'm going to move the strap around and tighten and, and fasten it. Very important that this stays put, okay? All right, now that I've got it secure, I can lift my left hand without the box moving and help my other hand over here tighten it. All right, when you move the box, the skin should move with it. It should not be so tight, obviously the dog can't breathe, but it needs to be snug, because if it's not snug, this box is gonna come up off the skin and you're not gonna have any contact, okay? So then I'll, I'll fasten everything. Good. All right, so I just wanted to show you the steps that we take with a dog like Henry, dog like Dixie, um, long-haired dogs to get good contact. We, we, um, we always make sure our equipment is in good working order before doing any training.